Hey, Miami, you know what time it is? It's time for Carnaval Miami. That's right. Carnival Miami is back and better than ever with a return of their signature events in March. March 5th and 6th, head down to Coral Gables for Carnival on the Mile. In its 24th year, the street fair has three concert stages, art, jazz, and funk, fine cuisine, and family entertainment. This free event is the perfect way to spend a laid-back weekend. Then on Sunday, March 13th, it's the iconic and, you know, Oh, so Miami, Calle Ocho Music Festival, the world's largest Latin music festival, takes over Little Havana with concerts, food pavilions, culture, y de todo un poco in a way that it's only the 305 can do. Así que, don't miss Carnival on the Mile or Calle Ocho Music Festival in March. For more information, head over to CarnivalMiami.com. See you there. Hey everyone, this is DJ. And this is Ish. And this is Season, season five, 5 of Pero Let, Let Me Tell You. So we are here with the artist of this year's Carnaval Miami poster. And for those of you who don't know, it is the 45th year of Calle Ocho, which is insane to me that I'm almost as old as Calle Ocho. <laughs> um, but that's neither here nor there. We're here with Laura Chirino, the artist who, who created this. I, I mean, we're looking at it right now as, as we're talking, and it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> thank you. Thank you yeah, so, so much. Thank you for, for stopping by and chatting with us. Yes, thank you so much. It's my honor. So my name is Laura Chirino. I am the poster artist. Yes. Poster artist, poster girl. <laughs> I don't know which way we want to go. And, and I got to say, you know, I met you at the at the press conference where they right. where they unveiled your poster yes, so that was exciting i know we're looking at the poster but at the event <laughs> like i got to see it yeah it, make, it makes a difference it, right the colors really pop with it the was resin gorgeous oh, like you. legit people when we posted it um you know because we did it in the stories right people were dming us and being like Ay, que lindo. oh my god that looks so great oh it's so pretty the colors are pop thank you and that was like you know me taking video, people seeing it filtered, filtered, you know, like through, like right, one right, step right. removed, right? Yeah. And it still came through. And we're sitting here right now, listeners, in her or her home, which. <laughs> it's say a, the truth, say the truth. It is, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> what I'm gonna say the truth, I am. It is an embarrassment of gorgeous art pieces that she has made because oh, they are all surrounding you. us. And I, I'm, I'm posting pictures of these pieces, you know, for <laughs> sure. But like, how, how did you start as an artist? You know, because I'm, and, and I'm looking around and there's, there's a distinct mm -hmm. vibe to it, but at the same time, they're different. Right. They're, 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 right? Like, I can yeah, tell yeah, it's yeah. the same artist, but they're not carbon but copies. But they're different. So, um, I started painting when I was nine. I, oh. start, I, start, I started showcasing about seven years ago. That's where it really blew up. So, I did And you're, like, 21. No, so, so I like, wish. Yeah, so <laughs> that show. <laughs> I'm actually 31. So, I just turned 31 in, I mean, November, so... <laughs> And I started painting when I was nine, like I said. Mm -hmm. And then seven years ago, I decided to do this art festival. And I was like, oh. oh, you know, I'm not a, I don't know about doing art festival. Like, I don't know. Let's try it out. So I sold my first piece at like $400. And I was so excited. I was going to say, but how did that feel? Like, <laughs> it was like, so exciting. It's validating. Because, right. No, but let me tell you, I had no tents. I had no walls. I had nothing. It was my first art festival. Mm -hmm. I was so lost. I was looking so at wait, everyone. So were you just like at the back of station wagon like what, what, <laughs> something, like that. Okay. <laughs> something like that like the homeless artist they're in the corner <laughs> but um every painting that i would sell like i would act like oh you know i've done so many art festivals people like the confidence was definitely there and that's what helped me like push through so i remember coming um oh, i remember this this random per, like just person like coming and he's staring at my art coming in and out and then he brought his wife and kids and I'm like, hi, how can I help you? We're like, we were looking at every single piece and this piece just speaks to us. Mind you, my art has changed completely from when I first started because the more Ooh. you paint, the more experience you get. Oh, you also evolve as a person. Exactly. So I was like, oh my God, like this weird, like whatever. <laughs> this was like a splatter <laughs> painting. It had, not, it didn't have like much it was Jackson Detail, Pollocky. It, it, right, right. It okay. was like very, excuse me, <laughs> symbolic. <laughs> it was like gothic. Ja Jackson Pollocky. <laughs> oh, I'm like gothic? Wait, what? <laughs> 
So it had a lot of. It was very like it looked like um like a spaceship with a, in a galaxy. Oh, cool. It was actually really cool. It was kind of abstract. Um, it, it spoke to him. Mm-hmm. Long story short, he's still my client. It's been like seven years, and he's like one of my biggest like art collectors. Wow. Right. And he's like, it's crazy. I know I'm going to keep this painting because this was one of your first. And I know it's going to sell for millions. I'm like, you do that. You <laughs> keep it because I know it will be worth a lot. From his lips. Yeah. Yep. yep. Um, so, yeah, that was like my boost. And I would call my mom every time I was up. And I'm like, mommy, vendi una pintura. And she she's um, she owns a hair salon. OK. So like the whole entire empl- all the employees <laughs> would be so excited to hear him in the background. Whoa. Yeah. Todo el mundo se enteraba. Todo el mundo. She was so excited like that I would keep selling bueno long story short i sold all my paintings i made like three thousand first art festival at that first art festival i sold all my paintings i took at least 12 like 12 okay. paintings i made three thousand dollars that weekend and nice. for me i was like whoa this is what i'm doing <laughs> <laughs> like this is going to be it um a lot of people don't know this about me but i was a second grade teacher okay um i taught second grade I was gonna ask. I was like, but you know, so that was only seven years ago. Like, and you yeah, know, yeah, 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 you yeah. started painting when you were young, but right. there, there's a gap there, right? Right. Like, yeah. So, I would always paint. Like, I was still teaching. Mm-hmm. Like, I taught for one year, okay. and I would rush home to go paint. And then one of my friends came into my studio, and she's like, "You need to like, you need to showcase this." Then that's how I did it that weekend while still being a teacher. So this was like a side hustle right, initially. Right. Well, it was. It started to become right. a side hustle, and then I realized I was like saving money, saving money. I was like, okay, like I knew that I was in such an urge to go home after school, after teaching kids all day, which is great. I love teachers, but I just knew it wasn't my passion, you know. Right. And yeah, the painting solidified that exactly. Yeah. So I just decided to, you know, it was a big step, and yeah. it, it was it wasn't easy because it was a. It was a basically taking a risk, you know, because no, it's something sure. that you have secure to just full time like artist. To go from a pension to, yeah. to no pension, right? That's a big. That's a big decision. Yeah, yeah it yeah. is. So I was like, you know what? I've always been a risk taker. I'm just like, let's go and you know, I'll roll with the punches and I'll figure it out. Um, that's always been my mindset. And it's mm-hmm. gotten me this far. I don't really think think things twice. I mm-hmm. just kind of go. So if I have a first instinct, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. But like sometimes you got to go with your gut. Exactly. You know, I, I do believe your gut feeling is the majority of the time. Yeah, not always, not but, some, always. But, 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 but you know yourself also. So there's, right, there's that. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I was doing it for the whole year, you know, because I had to be a teacher for like a year. Right. And then next year they're like, oh, OK, you want to teach third grade? I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> no, I have this secret weapon at my home. It's called art. And, then, and, um, <laughs> and then, yeah, I started doing more events. I started getting my you know getting out of my comfort zone recording myself on instagram right um but definitely like to all entrepreneurs out there the first year sucks but consistency is key and after seven years i can finally say that it's paying off not that i've made it but that it's paying off you're starting to see Ex- results whatever exactly. that means but you're you're starting to feel like you right right, right. right. like but <laughs> ev- eventually eventually this month everybody will be able to see um el gallo fino on the billboards nice and we're gonna be announcing carnival on the mile yep. and that's gonna be very exciting now so so speak speaking of uh, carnaval miami because yes. as we said i mean and, and i do want to touch base on on the poster because there's it's just it's it's like it's Miami on a on a on a sheet of paper, right? Like it's I'm I'm, I'm that's the vibe I get, <laughs> Thank and, I, you. and I say that. That's the vibe with, I was going for. It's a, so Good. mission accomplished. Good. But you know, you I believe you you mentioned at the press conference that you you came to this country at three, right? Correct. So so you yes. were actually born in Cuba, in Cuba. Yes. and you came to this country, and you know you mentioned that your your grandfather was the inspiration actually for the guy Ofino because I believe that's what they used to call yes, him right yes yes so how did your family you know react and we ask this of every of every guest we have because as fellow Latinos especially Cubans Cuban especially Americans especially Cubans you know I think our parents always want us to succeed at what we want to do but again when you come from that immigrant background they also worry about stability right of course so what was the reaction, you know, when... Because at first, I'm sure they were like, Ay, mira que lindo, pinta Laura, que lindo, que Right, lindo. right. When you went and told your mother, you know, like, now she's all happy and excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mommy, voy a dejar de ser maestra. 
y me voy a enfocar en ser, you know, <laughs> be, una tita. Be, una tita. Like, what was en el, the... En el ático. En el, yeah, right. Like, I'm just going to go in the backyard and paint for, like, you know, for a couple days. Like, what was the reaction? Because... Okay. At first, my mom has always been like, necesito un título. Yep. So, I was like, okay. Okay. That's fine. I was, at first, you know how you... I was in the process of becoming, of graduating. I was still in school. Okay. But I had... It wasn't... Um, I can't remember what it's called. So, I wasn't... I was a teacher, but getting paid like, you know... Like an intern? Like an intern. Okay. Right. So... Long story short, <laughs> this is actually super funny. My mom's We're like, Cuban. We're incapable of long story un short. <laughs> Necesito un título, si no, no sé de arte, ni pintura, <laughs> yo no sé lo que es eso. Pero necesito un título y ver real cash. I was like, okay, this that's mom, fine. I got it. I hear you, mom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I graduated. Right. So you got your título. I got my título <laughs> and I go, coge el diploma. <laughs> Ponlo en el cuarto y míralo todos los días porque yo voy a ser un artista. I told her like that. My parents don't speak English. So oh, exactly okay. how so I'm saying. This is legitimately. This, this is not you translating. This no, 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 no. This is, this is it. And I'm like, I'm going. I'm like, it's smile. I'm going to be an artist. You know, that's what I want. That's what I love to do. And then when she saw that I was like very committed, going to bed at three, my parents witnessed that. You know, I'm an only child too. So oh, okay. Oh. So there's, there, there, you're la niña la casa, of course. La niña like, la casa. yeah, like yeah, they, they, mom, they put all their, all, all their hopes and dreams, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my mom's story is very long too. But yes, her dream was to open a hair salon and she, you know, came from Cuba with nothing. Right. Um, and, You know, she was actually painting nails for like six dollars door to door. And her dream was to open a salon. Long story short, she bought her house, bought her nice. beach condo. Coño. And, no sé qué and then she bought her own hair salon. All right. So what's the name of the hair salon? Let's give her a plug. It's called the Hair Forest Salon in Hialeah. <laughs> and we love us some Hialeah. <laughs> I'm not even playing when I say that because like, my co-host has his law office in Hialeah. So thank you. Thank you for the shout out. Yeah. Um But yeah, she she worked very hard to be where she's at. So she's like, how am how is my daughter not going to be quote unquote successful? Because right. you know, Cubans think that you have to have a titulo to be successful and the majority, right? The majority of Cuban. And I wanted to prove that to her mm -hmm. that a lot of people don't have degrees and they can still be very right, right. successful. Right. Right. But that's like the old Cuba, like mindset. Yeah. I mean, I think it comes from that place of it's, it's again, I don't have children, so I'm talking out of my ass right now, but it's that <laughs> it, I think it comes from like whole thing of, I want my children to be happy and do what they want, but I also worry. Exactly. And now let's layer in coming from, you know, a communist country where, <laughs> you don't know where your next meal may be coming from or, or what, ha you know, whatever your, your situation is over right. there. So like to come here and be like all these opportunities, you want them to have a, all the opportunities, but at the same time you're terrified. Exactly. That and, and I can see how she was feeling that way. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to, yo soy cabezón, I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> oh, Ooh. oh, Wait, ooh nothing. Mm, no, I'm going to, oh, because Darian, my co-host is a Scorpio. So I know, I know yes. Scorpios. Okay. Yes. Scorpios are the best. We're so strong. <laughs> We are. <laughs> I, I can't even fa I can't even formulate words, listeners, right now, to, to, because know. she's she's so right, and I ha I just mm, yes, you are. I'm We're just fuente de karate, so imagine <sighs> I was like my way, this way. Um, what sign are you? I'm Leo. Oh, okay, but listen, Leos are also fuerte, okay? You're not so far. That apart. might be why I feel that way, because it's like, no, no, I want things my way. <laughs> exactly, and Scorpios are a lot yeah, like yeah. that, but we love heart. We have a big heart. Um, but other than that, um, ADD, what were we talking about? <laughs> ADD. It's hey, okay. <laughs> If it wasn't for ADD, we'd have no show. Like, that's exactly. how this works. This It's, seems to be very entertaining. <laughs> this is all about how we get to the conversations, right? And, but no, so, you know, going back to, to the poster, because, you know. We totally it, left off topic. It's all about, no, actually, no, we're, we're rounding back. This, rounding is, this back. is what we do. This, it's my job to corral everything. We're like 20 minutes, back. yeah, right? <laughs> Two hours later, you were totally right. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, you know, going back to, to, to this, how did actually they contact you? Like, how did, how did you get involved with Lokiwani for the to create this poster because you know right. we interviewed um I think it was the 2020 poster time has no meaning anymore after COVID right, right, right. so that's why exactly. I'm like I think it was, it, was two, it was two years ago so yeah so yeah uh Vic Garcia years. okay yeah when he yeah. did the poster I'm cool with him yeah yeah we interviewed him and he is just he to me is a personification of like artist right, right. because 
he's just like next level, like, oh no, no, you are creative, sir. Like, oh yeah, there's a, there's that creativity world thing that people think about yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. in for the ride, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, so how did they, how did, you know, is it something that you guys, all you artists kind of know each other and you have little secret meetings or something <laughs> and they, and they pick you guys <laughs> or. Okay. So I've been with Carnival in the Mile for seven years now. Oh wow. I always get like a double booth just because my paintings are huge. So, yes. um, throughout the years, obviously, yes, you make your connections, but they've also seen me on channel seven and Got they've it. seen that they, I've done a bunch of like, uh, I've been on the news before. So, um, Alex, Alex reached out and he's like, listen, I really love which your art. Which is the art. current president of, yes. of the Kiwanis. Alex Perez, which he is, he's great. He is amazing. Um, I think he's perfect. I, I love the fact that we're he's the president this year and yeah. I'm the artist. And then Yutuel is the music. Yes. Yutuel uh, is, is the yeah. Rey de Carnaval, which it's like, okay, could we have any more Cuban representation in Miami? Know, like it's, it. it's like, it's like perfect, perfect, perfect. Like it's That's just like check, 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 right? So like the three of us together, <laughs> yeah. it was just amazing that it's we like got chosen. Cuban American, Holy Trinity. Yeah. Like, so like Alex really loved like the fact that my art is very loud and bold. Um, and it has a little twist of abstract and how I can kind of combine everything together like a random cafetera in the bath uh in the bottom and then like you know the the tile being domino pieces love, and just you know let's throw an ice cream in there and a monkey but then it's also like a real place because right. it is exactly. it, it's calle ocho i mean i'm looking exactly. at it i'm like i know that's the tower theater i know where that is i know that's azúcar ice cream exactly. i know that over here hit ball and chain you know union beer and paca, like and I, then I, the random guy in the middle well, which is perfect that's <laughs> again guayabera. but again calle ocho like i, I know yeah, i'm on calle calle, ocho. yeah yeah so we wanted to make it very like colorful tropical that's what we went for um back to your question <laughs> Um, yeah, they just reached out and they, they, they're like, listen, do you want to be the artist of the year? I think your work is great. Um, and I'm like, of course it would be an honor. Thank you so much. They're like you've been an artist for such a long time. We always see you in a bunch of places. You've done a lot of paintings throughout the years and you're definitely, you know, growing. So I'm like, wow, thank you. That's an honor. So then I did a sketch for them and they loved it. They're like, that's it. We're sold on it. Like, let's go. Um, and then, yeah, obviously it's my twist of the key, you know, like my gallo represents my abuelo. They used to call him a gallo fino. Is he still with us? Or? Yes, he's still, yeah. I, I say was because he lives in Cuba. Oh, which, okay. You know. Okay. Um, has he seen, has he seen this? He, yes, he is so happy. So, so he, yeah. he's he so knows happy. he's, so he knows he's famous. Is right. Basically. But it's so okay. different. In, <laughs> <laughs> but it's so different in Cuba, you know, like they don't really know, like I'll, I'll send it to them and they're like, oh, wow. But they don't know, like channel seven or telemundo or you know they understand they, that you're getting pressed but they don't understand the the weight of right of, right right exactly so um you know for example the cigar being oh, turned shit. i didn't even ah, i know a lot of people didn't know so Me acabo de caer de la mata. i didn't i just thought it was una palma yeah so did, it's a cigar palm tree <laughs> I know, I know. I you have it. to really like look into it because it's a lot of um, little details. Like, look, I do a lot of like evil eyes. What so I did a graffiti wall. Oh, like with, for, for de ojo. Right. Okay. Like a mad de ojo, you know. Or warding off a mad de ojo. Mejor dicho. <laughs> Mejor dicho. We're not trying to have no mad de ojo on this show, okay, exactly. ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Especially now with the Hialeah girl. Uh-uh. No, no. 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 Mm. Not going to fly. <laughs> nope. She knows where all the bodies are buried. Nope. Hialeah. <laughs> mm. Not doing it. <laughs> oh my God, that's awesome. And then like, for example, like little stuff hidden, like El Mono, there's someone in the Kiwanis called El Mono. Okay, I was going to say, yeah. because like, I've been to Metro Zoo, but Metro Zoo's not on Calle Ocho, so I, I, I was very curious about the that The random one. monkey, yeah. So it has like little messages that represent like the Kiwanis, like when they mm. first started, open house eight is what they used to be like, what you, they used oh, to Oh, is that what it used them. to be yeah, called? Yeah, yeah, it used to be called Oh, I didn't know that. Open I just house. thought it had always been like Carnaval, yeah. you know? yeah. So, you know, like little hidden oh, messages there. and, and yeah, I mean, they really loved the painting and it was, it was an honor. No, it would have to be. I mean, this is our second year working with them. I say loose, I say that loose, like working quote unquote, you know, right. to be involved with them in any capacity. Again, you know, you, you've, you've lived here your whole life, essentially. I mean, for, mm -hmm. for all intents and purposes, mm -hmm. as have I, to be, I, I feel like to be asked to be part of you know, Calle Ocho, Carnaval Miami, Carnaval on the Mile, in any capacity, it's weird because if you're not from here, you don't get the, how, how, how much of an honor 
right. that is, right? Because you tell the average person, you know, and again, I'm not trying to diminish your 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 work, but you tell the average person like, oh yeah, no, I'm I'm you know, I'm doing the art for like this, you know, this street fair that happens every year. And the average person might be like, Oh, that's cool, but okay, it's a street fair, right? Like right, they don't, right, exactly. But, but they it's, don't see it's Calle Ocho. Like yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, Calle Ocho yeah. street fair. Like yeah. that is huge here yeah, a like, lot of a lot of people it's it that's actually true because a lot of people have when i tell them all oh, the kind of they're like oh, it's a, i'm like this is like one of the largest latin festivals yes like, this is a big deal yes so yeah it's like when we won't i mean not to get off topic but that's what we do here um you know when we talk about like the youth fair right people you know it's like oh yeah that's our state fair and people are like and you get excited about it. I was like, yes, because it's great and it's the f- delicious food and everything. Right. And you it's know, once a year. And it's once a year. And we, you know, people, when you, if, if you minimize it to what it quote unquote is, you're not understanding what it actually capital I capital S is. Is right. Agree. Agree. You know, and then, it's, and they do so much. I mean, the Kiwanis really, they, they give back a lot, a lot. that they we give... don't even think about or know in some cases. Yeah. No, they're great. They're great. And it was honestly, it was a true honor when, when they, you know, reached out. I was like, yes. I didn't even go. I'm like, yes, of course. Of course. Yeah, it was very, very exciting. Yeah. So I'm sitting here again in your in your <laughs> beautiful living living kitchen art studio <laughs> space. space. It's, you know, listen, we're all about efficiencies. So Pero, let me tell you, okay? And, and I don't mean that efficiency like renting on the side of the house. I mean, being efficient is, <laughs> right, you know. Right, right, right. You know, that's how great like my studio guys this is a true story i'm like we need to do this in my living room because my studio right now is a mess you can't even walk in there there's paintings everywhere hats i'm gonna show you after i guarantee it still probably wouldn't even be the worst place we would have had an interview <laughs> just to let you I'm, I'm not gonna tell you which one was but i'm saying i guarantee it's not gonna be the oh worst my okay gosh, how funny yeah. but you know I, i'm again i'm looking at your at your pieces and l- looking straight ahead you know as a leo of course i noticed the giant lion mm. And it's one of my most popular pieces. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, so it's a lion, lioness. I don't know if you've noticed okay, that. I did notice that, that there was no mane on the, right. on my left hand right. side of it. Right, so it's a very, yes. like, powerful piece. It represents, like, him and her, like, you know, okay, his the, and hers. The duality. And, and... Exactly, like, power as a couple. Ooh. Um, so it's, it's very strong and meaningful, but then it's also, like, very bold and happy. I use a lot mm. of color. Well, I was going to ask you about that, you know, because I'm looking at it, and I, honestly, the first thing that came to mind... Is because you know between that and and then the heart, which I'm totally taking a picture with, it's just <laughs> fucking cute as hell. I can't even Aww. deal with how, how much I freaking love that piece. Yay! The first thing I you're actually the first like, person. You're you're look I, at that. You're finding out news. The first person to see that piece. I Woo. told you I like scoops. This is the third one. There we go. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, I can. I can go to Ben and Jerry's. We're, oh, um, but you know, I, like when I'm looking at those, I'm getting kind of a Lisa Frank vibe. Okay. Because right. of the colors and. And again, Someone didn't mention that. And, and yeah, the yeah. animals and everything. But then I look over here to my right where it is more text heavy. And I'm getting, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm getting, but I know it's something different. So I kind of wanted to ask about like, what are your influences? Because just in front of me, like the Gallo Fino has a very distinct look to it. Right. The two pieces, the heart and the lion lioness has a very distinct look to it. But they kind of look similar in, right. in the color palette. Right. And then the pieces that are more text heavy, again similar in that concept but different than every everything else so it's 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 fascinating to me that they all came from the same mind (laughs) (laughs) okay so i'm gonna explain because that's a question i get a lot okay so the positive vibes okay that painting is like two years old so so you were ahead of the positive vibes yeah so this was actually in a yoga studio and then we currently just moved it because they're like renovating so we decided to bring it back so that we can place it in our outside little lounge area outside our home, which I'll show you <laughs> later. Super nice. Um, and that's a painting that's been with us, with us as in my boyfriend and I, for a while. Like I had it in our condo and it brought us like a lot of luck. So that's one of the paintings that we haven't really wanted to get rid of. Um, it's actually crazy because I don't have any inventory right now other than for Carnival on the Mile, which is next week yeah that's something oh, that shit, i've been very I, totally <laughs> I know it is it's next week it's, it's which March, is why March, i'm like March 5th and 6th yeah yeah Mar- that's why i'm like all over the place i'm like 30 minutes right but we're here an hour i'm totally enjoying this by the way you're great like you're so thank good you, for this it's you. awesome i'm enjoying our conversation a lot um so that painting it's called hidden names so this is something that i started about like six months ago started with one painting i was like hmm, i wonder how it would if you go like in between 
the hallway, okay. you'll be able to see a black and white painting. And it's all our family's name, like kind of hidden. Oh. It all, you see how you can read the words like power, passionate. Yeah, perseverance. De- determ- exactly. This determined. one's not as hidden, but if you see the one in the hallway, it's like all our names hidden. And people love that because it's very meaningful. It's a meaningful piece. It's a showstopper piece and it's a conversation piece. So that's probably, that's actually for a client. And then that other painting is for a client. And then that one's for a client, a Winnie the Pooh, which is somewhere around here. (laughs) Um, I love this art scavenger hunt that she has going on in her house. It's wonderful. My boyfriend's kind of over it. He's like, when are we going to have our living room back? You know, but I'm like, this is what you get living with an artist. But hey, he gets free paintings. Hello. Listen, we've all seen hoarders. It could be worse. Okay. (laughs) At least they're pretty things to look at and not like, you know, stacks of magazines from 1945. Okay. Like. It's, that it could is be true. worse. That is, that it could is be worse. Very true. Um, he also doesn't have like a dining table or anything because paintings are everywhere. <laughs> oh, dining tables are so 2019. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's called like hidden names, and that's probably like my seventh painting now that I've sold to to a client. It oh, wow. just it, they love it. it. It's it's different. It's a yeah. showstopper piece for sure, and you you know conversation yeah, and piece. It's, and it's there's something to be said, you know, and, and like we were talking about even with the, the Lion Lioness piece, you know, and, and even the Gallo Fino where I just now, I've been, I've, I will tell you, I have been looking at this piece for a while and I'm just now realizing, you know, the cigar. I do like pieces where every time you look at it, there's a little something different. And right. There's obviously there's something to be appreciated for a piece that's just like, look, this is what it is and you're seeing it and it is, you know, and, 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 exactly. and feel what you need to feel yeah. with that. But I do love pieces like that where... It's, you know, you, you got to pull away a little bit more and dig a little right, deeper. And, right, and every see. time the pasa por el lado, you're like, oh, wait. Was that there? Oh, has that always been there? Or did you come in the middle of the night and just like, you know, <laughs> pop, pop, it, pop it in? Like, yeah. Yeah, knowing my crazy ass, I would. <laughs> like, oh, oh my God. Like, that's literally, I'm not even lying. This has happened to me. Que se me olvida algo in the pintura. And I'm like, oh my God, in the middle of the night. And I was like, oh, what? What? I'm like, oh my God, I forgot to add the cherry on the ice cream. And at 2 a.m., I'm like going to my studio to paint the cherry. Like, esa locura. Like, that's in an artist. Like, but I feel you. When you I, know? I used to paint, and the only oh, times cool. that I liked painting was after midnight i'm such a night owl i i, I can't that's I can't. crazy Me even too. now with the, with the podcast like whenever i'm working on stuff it's like no it's earlier so than quiet, 10 30 11 right o'clock at it's night. like a different it's quiet it's just a different vibe yeah like, miami is such a locura place that we need to <laughs> only at like a la una mañana is it quiet enough for us to be able to work on shit like that that's is what it comes so down true. to you so know i'm gallo <laughs> and that's the neighbor like oh my gosh i totally get you it's always yes. something damn it <laughs> welcome to miami oh yes my um, dear yes i totally agree but yes back to your question that you were saying like how you can tell like they're the same but different right. so for example like i started with hamsas right and it became like a trend a lot of hamsas but then i, I just a lot started of what, sorry hamsas so those so. are hamsas look yeah no, i know but we're gonna need to explain this is an oh, audio okay, medium this right. is <laughs> Like, what is a hamsa? I'm like, a hamsa. Hamsa? I'm, I'm like, the word of the day is hamsa. hamsa. <laughs> La mano de Fatima. Okay. With the evil okay. eye okay. in the middle. So go. I started, like, okay. a lot of just, like, good energy and vibes okay. and, right. you know, evil eyes and stuff like that. Like, very, like, very um, spiritual. Very, very spiritual. Yeah. Exactly. So spiritual. Eastern. Twister. Eastern. That's the word I was looking for. Like, yeah. Um, and then boom, it just blew up and I started doing a lot of them and right. switching the colors around and adding like little hidden, like that one has like a little hidden paw oh. in there oh because she owns like, um, like a pet. Okay. So, it's, but, but you personalized it for, for correct, this, for this person. Correct. Right. Um, but keeping, you know, the same like format. Right. And then I have the lions, which that blew up. So then I started doing a bunch of lions and then the hidden names. So they're all the same, but mm. different. Okay. So it's like a style. You know, so people would be like, oh, hey, Laura, I want to hit in names. Right. Boom. They can change the color, but, but that's it stays also, the concept. But that's also great because I think many times an artist will have a style, but there's there, there's a danger of being pigeonholed. Right. right. Where it's like, oh, you're the lion lady. Right. Like, like, the, I mean, there are worse things to be called in this world, yes. but like, but it could just be like, oh, that's all. Like, that's what she quote unquote does. Right. And it's like, no, 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 I'm creative. I'm artistic. Yeah, I can yeah, do yeah. other yeah. things. Yeah. And here I will show you and I will show you that I not only can do them, but that they're going to kick ass as well. Yeah. 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 You know, but and, if and you ask me to paint a human, I'm charging you like 20 K per head. <laughs> you best believe it. <laughs> Just do it abstractly. They'll never know the difference. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's one thing that 
that I'm starting to get into to mm -hmm. paint like faces a little more discreet okay. because it's it's you know like I've gotten a lot of requests that people are like oh my god can you paint my whole entire family and, and I'm like portraits yeah like a silhouette <laughs> or <laughs> or like do you want me to paint their eyes and their nose because um I don't know how abstract can I be here right like so now I'm getting out of my um, comfort zone and I started doing like the lady with la mariposa so it's just like the nose okay and the lips and then boom that's it don't put no eyes in there we're doing the mariposa but and it's so funny because you 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 do all this evil eye stuff so it's not like you're adverse no, to but eyes have you is in painting right right so but like painting an eye yeah, you know, yeah, it's, it's different there. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. i could do it don't get me wrong but it's not like something i'm like oh yes i'm gonna paint your eyes it doesn't it doesn't right. motivate you right. or, or I'm gonna inspire show you. you um so you can see is this one less. of yours on the case no it's not actually oh, okay. it's i bought it from some girl online <laughs> that i was like oh my god evil eyes with hearts i get it looks similar to my art you see okay i, I see i saw this on your on your insta there's no eyes there's butterflies. Well, you know, because butterflies are about rebirth, and you should always I see things with fresh eyes. Eggs. Oh wow! Look at you, new hire. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Again, um, I work in marketing. I can do this. Let's this do is. It. <laughs> yeah. So that's something I started doing. I did a Frida, which I haven't even announced or spoken about it. But I'm taking it to carnival because the thing is that if I post a painting, which I just did a Carida painting, I posted okay. it and I sold it. So I'm like. You gotta have something Great. at the freaking tent. Exactly. Because if not, then when we pass by at your tent on, on Sunday, be March sixth, is lion. I'm, <laughs> no. Which is fine because it's gorgeous, <laughs> but like I need to have new. Th I've already seen things. Right, I need right, to see, right. I, no, I'm, and it's, I'm and being it's selfish. I'm literally talking about me. <laughs> like I want when I pass by. Yeah, it's just it's exciting because you know if if you post online, then people won't go, and I want right. to reveal them there so that people you know could isn't, attend. Isn't that funny though? Like nowadays, it's that double edged sword of you have to have a social media presence. Right. But in your case, mm -hmm. you also want people to show up in person. Exactly. So you want to show things to get people like embullado. No, I've had, but you can't show too much. It, it's so, like, it, how do you, how do you thread that needle? Like that's, I, I, I don't post, I don't post. And it's hard because I'm like, Oh, this came out so good. And I usually <laughs> do like, you know, sneak peeks and you know, now it's like sneak peek, my signature, that's the sneak peek. And they're like, what? Close up of like one line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. Come get the rest. Um, but it works. It works. People go and this is a crazy story, which I'm going to... Which is our favorite kind. Yeah. So at um, Cuba Nostalgia, oh, I did yeah. Cuba Nostalgia. I didn't sell out one painting that weekend, right? Really? Sunday night came. I posted everything. I looked at my DM. I sold all my paintings. Offers left and right. All my paintings, like online. Online. That was That's insane. And But I sold, I made so, like I sold so many hats and bags that weekend Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, because she's also got you know she's also got a clothing line going too. It's like <laughs> yeah. nowadays there's more coming soon. Nowadays you gotta be you know you gotta have yeah. your finger in many pies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. And 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 I feel like that's one thing how people started recognizing my art. Oh, that's an LC. That's an LC because it was the hat. Like I had my best friend in the airplane taking mm -hmm. pictures of a random lady wearing my hat. Oh, I'm shit. like, Ace, be careful. Like, <laughs> like you know? and it's and it's exciting. She's like, oh my god, I'm so proud. Like my best friend, yeah. you know. So. Little by little, people started recognizing my art through my products. And then oh, that, when they go to okay. my page to see my hats and my products, they're like, oh, you do paintings. Boom. And then they want a painting. And then that's how it kind of, you know. That's interesting. I mean, I guess with Cuba Nostalgia, I, mean, I, was, I don't have any data yeah. for this. But it's a different actually, demographic I'm, I'm than gonna, Carnaval I Miami. Lied. I lied. I actually sold one painting from a client that I met online that went to go visit me. And she wanted to see the painting okay. in person. Makes sense. You know, she bought it there. But then I was posting everything like Sunday night right after the festival. Same. And people were just, I, oh, I want it. I want it. I was like, oh, my God. Thank God. You know, like, <laughs> yay. So that was um, that was fun. Uh, yeah, so the products really did help me get my name out there, and a lot mm. of networking, a lot of networking. I, it's invaluable. I, uh, you have to, you have to get out there. You have to put in the work. You know, being online on your phone is not going that to be it. I don't even want to say that's half the battle. Right. It's a fraction it's, it's of a, a fraction. fraction. Right. Because People are like, oh, online. I was like, no, no, no. You have to go introduce yourself. You know how many meetings I've gone to, how many, when I first started, how many paintings I gave away for free just to get my name out there. I can imagine. 
it was not easy. So, you know, someone messaged me the other day, they're like, oh, you're so lucky. And I did like a whole entire <laughs> one hour <laughs> video post on my Instagram of like how I'm not lucky, but how I, you know, busted my ass to be where I'm at. And yeah. I'm still not like there. What's you know? the old, what's the saying that I'm totally going to massacre? What is it? The harder I work, the luckier I get. Exactly. Yeah. You know, the more hours you put, you know, la gente tan, oh, let's have a drink. I'm like, girl, I wish I need like a bottle, you know, and I don't even drink, but you have to prioritize your time, you know, and especially for, for something like this. Exactly. And yes, balance is key, but you need to, you know, like, I don't know. I guess my mind is so different when I'm on like that mode, like artists, like, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's like hard. My friends literally come to my house to drag me out. And I'm like, I'm like, guys, wait. And then I make them like stay and we drink in my studio. But I would so. totally be down for that. Like, yeah. if I had not I'm just, I wasn't, I wasn't inviting myself. I'm just saying, if I had, you know, if I had a friend who was an artist and right. they'd be like, I am working, I'll be like, I'll just bring some bottles over, order a pizza, call right. it a day. But like, it's, it's, I know, but it's so different. Like, you know, especially if you have like single friends that want to go out and this and that. That's true. And, that, yeah. You know, it's like, okay. Not yeah, that yeah, I'm yeah. single, but still, you no, know. No, no, but I mean? your single friends want to go. Right, oh, and, right. And also they have nine to fives. Exactly. So for them, yeah. it's like. The I've majority been, of them do. And those that those that don't have a nine to five kind of more understand. But right, those that do right. is, is yeah, you no. know, it's a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> when a louder. When a water break really quick, really quicker. <laughs> I could stay here talking to you for like 17 more hours. I know. We vibed very well. Guys, we said 30 minutes because I had to get back to work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's a, and it, <laughs> but again, our listeners know. Our listeners know. We've said this in many episodes where it's like 20 minutes. All we need is 20 minutes. And it's never 20 minutes. I yeah, mean, but like, you're so easy to talk to, which <laughs> which is great. It makes a big difference, you know? Like you're, you're easy going. It's, but it also helps when I have a great person to interview Aww, and chat with you, because if not it'd be like listen we've had some interviews where it was pulling teeth and, <laughs> and it's it, and that one i think was probably our sh- on the shorter end but it felt like it was six days long that interview <laughs> because it was just like what is your age yeah what is yeah. your favorite color <laughs> it was like we'd ask questions and the worst thing to ever get is a one a one word answer to any question oh and so yeah, it's yeah. kind of like all right well, we're gonna wrap this up now and we're like we clearly must have been talking for three hours oh it's been 10 minutes okay, great that was fantastic well this is gonna be a fun but uh, this podcast. is not the for case sure. not the case here with you and you know again everybody you know check her out on on instagram your handle is lc original painting yes and for the record we like this LC. We don't like Lauren Conrad uh, from the hills. <laughs> Not a f- no. This, this is, is Laura Chiri. This is our LC. Okay, damn it, <laughs> Cuban American from Hialeah. This is like you know LC that we can vibe with, that we can appreciate. Carajo. Yeah. But you know, check her out on Instagram. Also, come out for Carnaval on the Mile. She's gonna have her booth there, right? Both days. Yes. Uh, so it's, it's March going to be March fifth and sixth. And six. Yes, we're gonna have a booth, I believe, on the sixth, because um, we can't make it on on that Saturday. But um, stop by and see her, and maybe stop by see us, and maybe she'll be at ours. We'll yes. be at hers. We'll, you know, exactly, exactly. At some point, we gotta eat. So definitely, at some point, when, you know, definitely. we gotta have to dar la vuelta <laughs> and get a cafecito or something. For sure, because, cafecito is a must. Oh my god, it's totally a must. But, um, Pero let me tell you, this was an honor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a friggin' blast chatting yeah, with you. Yeah, this was a lot of so fun. Much. Thank you, thank you. Pero Let Me Tell You is co-hosted by Darian Borges and Ismaeliano, produced by Ismaeliano, and our theme, Pero Let Me Tell You Freestyle, is composed by Michael Angelo Lomlaplex, the official gay guy. And don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes.